Okay, what we have here? Request for me to answer question number seven from um, the November 2013, paper two, variant three, question number seven. Now, in this question, we're told that the solutions of the equation x squared minus 6x plus d equals 0 are both integers. And d is a prime number, find d. So, when we solve an equation, a quadratic equation, x squared minus 6x plus d equals 0, what we normally do is, if it can be factorized, we factorize it. This obviously can be factorized if both the solutions at the end are going to be integers. x equals and x equals over integers. Okay, so now, if they're integers, okay, so you've got here x and you've got x, that's what we know for sure. Right, now, they're both integers, whole numbers, and d is a prime number. That means one of these has to be a 1. One of these has to be a 1, because if d is a prime number, okay, then remember d is the product, so this is basically, this, this number here is the product of these two numbers, okay, and this number here is the sum of these two numbers. Now, if these two numbers multiply to give you d, okay, then one of them has to be 1, because d is a prime number, and, you know, by definition, the only number that you can multiply uh, anything with to give you a prime number is 1, okay? So we know for sure there must be a 1 here, alright? So, and we also know prime numbers are always positive. So you've got to have these two numbers as negatives to give you a positive answer here. So this is this is going to be definitely, this, this number is going to be D. Over there is going to be D. Minus D here and minus 1 there. Okay, so the final answer will be X equals D and x equals 1, here that will make d as a positive number, okay, d is a positive number. Now, so now that will give you plus d. So we're going to think of two numbers, when we multiply them, we get d, and when we add them, we get minus 6. So these two numbers here, if I add them together, I'm going to get minus 6. So I know that minus 1, okay, and then if I add to that another minus 5, I'm going to get minus 6. And if I multiply minus 1 and minus 5, I'm going to get plus 5. Okay? So this must be my, this d must be a 5 here. So x minus 1 times x minus d equals 0. x equals 1 or x equals d. Okay? So x is equal to 5. So d must be 5. d has to be a 5. Okay? So you got x minus 1 times x minus 5 equals 0, so you have x equals 1, and x equals 5, okay, x equals 5, and if you expand that, you get x squared minus 6x plus 5, so d definitely is 5, okay, it has to be a prime number, okay, it has to be positive, prime numbers are all positive, so it can't be, some people might say that there's a, supposed to be like a, a minus 7 and a plus 1, Okay, now if it was a if it was x minus seven or x plus one and x minus seven, okay, that would give you a sum of minus six. But if I multiply them together, it's going to give me negative seven. So in this case, d would be negative seven, and you don't have prime numbers which are negative, so it can't be this. This is not correct. Okay, so the answer is d equals five. Okay, I hope that was clear.